You know guys, it's been quite a long time since the last time I ever talked about X Defiant, and trust me, if the game were around, <laughs> if the game actually released, I'd be talking about X Defiant at least a little bit more than I do currently. Now, is that a slight shot at X Defiant and the developers? I mean, yeah, sure, maybe, but... At the end of the day, that's just the god honest truth, and that's what I want today's video to be about. By the time you guys are watching today's video, it should already be live, right? The the server beta testing thing that's going on with X Defiant, it should be live right now, so if you're interested in playing it, I highly recommend giving it a try, giving out your feedback, and, and just seeing what you like about it and what you don't like about it. And the reason I think it's really important, guys, and this is something that we need to be very honest about in today's video, is that X Define has found itself in a position where time is no longer really on its side in terms of hype anymore. And I know that's kind of a tough pill to swallow for a lot of people, and trust me, as somebody who was once excited for this game to come out and really stick it to Call of Duty, trust me, I think the most disappointed people are the people who really want to see changes in Call of Duty, haven't been seeing them, and are waiting for a different kind of experience. Even further than the X Defiant Soul fans anyways. Because while yes, you guys are waiting for this game to eventually come out, you guys want it to perform well, I still think there is a larger group of people out there that want the exact same thing, but are specifically wanting this to really be the thing that gets them away from Call of Duty. And that's a lot of us, alright? Let's just keep it straight up. The whole problem is... This game has simply not come out. Where is it? How far is it from being released? We don't really know yet. So I think this weekend is extremely important for people to really, really dig deep inside and just be straight up honest about this game. Because like I said, time is no longer on this game's side. And I think that's really where X Defiant really, really, really messed up. And I'm not saying this is supposed to be Call of Duty's killer or anything like that. No, let's be realistic. It's fucking Call of Duty. But at the same time, this game was arguably as close as we've ever gotten to getting people away from Call of Duty before MW 2019 Part 3 even came out. So the fact that this game has seen delay after delay Delay, it's seen problem after problem. I think we actually do need to be straight up honest about the fact that the hype for this game has significantly died down. It's not totally dead because there's obviously going to be people interested in this, but in terms of just dethroning Call of Duty, we kind of need to really hurry it up, you know? And trust me, I'm not making this video from the perspective of an X Defiant hater, although I do have a lot of fair criticism in my opinion. So I'm curious to see how the developers and or or the, the X Defined community reacts to something like this because, trust me, when I make videos like this over on COD, I mean, those motherfuckers, those gooch lickers over there on COD, sensitive, all right? Like, these guys are just, holy shit. These guys start crying, they start telling you you're broke. They, they throw every single thing at you other than just admitting that the quality and state of the game is not where it should be. The last time we saw X Defiant was in a beta months and months and months ago before the last Call of Duty game came out. Back when I played it, I had a pretty good time. I'm not gonna lie, like I really enjoyed what I had, but there were still a lot of really bad things about that beta that I wished would have been addressed sooner and fixed sooner. And unfortunately for us, we still haven't even seen the result of them fixing those issues. Now during this beta, have we seen those? Hopefully, and if we have, please let me know down in the comments below, but let's start out with some of the things I really enjoyed about X Defiant back then. One of them was the speed and pace of that game was absolutely fucking phenomenal. It was great. I thought the movement speed was good, I thought the sliding mechanics were nice, I thought the size of the maps actually made sense for the movement of the game. I think the time to kill was in a really really good spot and I think all of those things combined actually made for a really good pace of the entire game. I thought it was extremely fluid, at least in terms of time. And we'll get back to this whole thing on fluidity in a little bit, but another thing that I really liked about X Defiant was how vibrant the maps were. And the maps entirely were just top to bottom, extremely fun to play. Every single one of them had a different POI that was just really interesting to see. Like some of them were in like a, a zoo, some of them were like in part of a theme park, abandoned bases and shit like that. And the colors on all of these were just absolutely amazing. On 
top of that, anytime there is any little insignificant issue about the net code of the game, about any problems that we've had, the communication from these developers has literally been inspiring. And I mean that in a literal sense because after this, we start seeing our own developers in Call of Duty start being more vocal about anything, really. I mean, we started talking about skill-based matchmaking. That's something X Define has already addressed. We've talked about netcode, they've already addressed it. The only thing that they haven't seemed to address is, I mean, the fucking release date, but we'll get into that in a little bit as well. I really think Mark Rubin and all of these other accounts even Aches, if you guys know Aches, they've been pretty vocal about X Defiance progress, and honestly, that does make for a good sign going forward after the game eventually finally releases. I thought every single operator and all the factions were really interesting, people's special abilities were nice, the guns felt nice, but to be honest guys, that's kind of where the good stuff ends, and it's not necessarily because there's nothing good left to talk about. This is actually my main point of the entire video, is that I don't really remember everything else about this game because it's been so fucking long, and it really just gets me wondering, where the fuck is this game? What happened? Why has there been so many delays? And that is the number one glaring issue of this game. And yes, in my opinion, it does kill off a lot of the hype. And for a lot of people that have been waiting for this game before MW 2019 Part 3 came out, some of those people, they might be back on MW 2019 Part 3. They might not give this game a chance anymore like they would have in the past. And I understand a lot of it has to do with them polishing the issues and just fixing and addressing a lot of our concerns. But this is a clear example of the time working against you rather than in your favor because yes you are polishing a lot of things and hopefully we fixed up a lot of the issues that this game had but it's been so long to the point where a lot of people don't even want to give this game a chance anymore people think that this game is just dead in the water now all of the cod gooch lickers let's be honest have just written this game off already and then there's people like me who have been anticipating this game but the god honest truth is I've forgotten a lot of the good things about this game just because it's been so long. Going back to my previous experiences with this game that I do remember, I remember some of the biggest glaring issues that I've ever seen in a fucking video game point blank period. The netcode was horrible. I mean no disrespect to the community or to the developers when I say this because they've at least addressed this and they've been working on it from what I've heard. The netcode back then was absolute horse shit, okay? It was ass. You got shot around corners every single time you went around a corner. The bullets did the fucking matrix and followed you around corners. They're making S shapes. The other thing that I very clearly remember was how clunky this game felt on controller. Now this is extremely important as somebody who's coming in from Call of Duty because look, I can say whatever the fuck I want about COD. The developers are stupid idiots. The people over at Activision are a bunch of fucking women harassing hyenas. There's literally zero originality. There's a lot of just recycled bullshit in that game, but something that we cannot deny, Call of Duty, at least in its recent times, has been extremely fluid in terms of movement, in terms of netcode, in terms of even hit registration a little bit. And overall, it just feels good for not only people on controller, but people on mouse and keyboard. And this is something that I heard about X Defiant, is that on keyboard and mouse, this game was absolutely phenomenal in terms of its fluidity. There was no clunkiness whatsoever on mouse and keyboard. On controller, however, there was reports that on certain controllers, very specific ones like the PS5 controllers, the game was very clunky, and that's something I can honestly say is the truth. There just seemed to be some input lag. I don't really know how to explain it anymore other than like, it just felt delayed a little bit, no pun intended, because, I mean, I don't know where we are now. This was one of the biggest issues that I had, and I know I'm trying to make a whole feedback video, things that I have high hopes for, but Again, there's some things that I know I'm leaving out just because I literally fucking forgot. Yes, that has to do with the time. This game has been delayed so many times that I can't even tell you the negative feedback that I had back then. And I know some of the things that I just talked about have reportedly already been worked on. I wouldn't know yet until I try out the game for myself very soon, but 
at least at the point that I'm recording this video, some of my negative opinions about this game, if they haven't been fixed yet, there is a major problem. And once again, this whole thing with delaying the game out so, so long, it's brought me to a point where I don't even remember what feedback I could possibly give to make this game even better than what I experienced back then. I mean, this game's been delayed so many times, people are calling this shit X delayed. Guys, <laughs> if we're making memes about your existence, we're in a pretty tough spot. So yeah, X Defiant is in a very crucial, pivotal moment where it really, really needs to hit the mark this time. And this is where, you know, we kind of need to apply the tough love aspect of my entire channel's existence. You know, I do this in Call of Duty, except times like a million times harshness. I think people who have been viewers of mine can honestly agree. I like Call of Duty, but when I gotta be honest, and they've just ignored our feedback time and time again, we gotta get mean about some shit. Now in X Defiant, I, I kinda think we're getting near that point because it's been so long, you've missed your window of opportunity to really stick it to Call of Duty like I said earlier. I don't think X Defiant's release anytime soon is going to dethrone Call of Duty and I don't think it's going to pull that many people away from that franchise anymore. And that's just one of the negative consequences that comes with waiting this long. And yes, I understand they've been working and fixing things up, but that brings me to my next point. During this server test, and I understand as a server test, we're mainly just looking at the server. We're mainly dictating the quality of the servers. But those issues that we talked about, the clunkiness, the netcode, etc, etc, these things really need to be ironed out. Like, there is no longer room for us to keep talking about, hey, you know what, I mean, I'm still hyped for the game, I think it'll still do a number to Call of Duty, but the netcode still feels kind of weird, it still feels kind of clunky. If I'm seeing any of that in the comments section, and if I experience that myself, I don't think X Defiant's gonna be in a really good spot. And once again, I can sympathize with the developers as a smaller team of people with significantly less experience and funding behind them as compared to Call of Duty. I understand that they're really, really trying to work hard and work from scratch and create an original experience for people to enjoy. There is no way in hell that that's an easy task. But when you've created this hype, around your name, and your entire identity is essentially just the Call of Duty killer, whether you deemed yourself as such or not, now the pressure is on, and when you delay your shit this far out from what we were originally expecting like a year ago, it puts you in a position where, yeah, now you're on the clock, and guys, look, I'm not entirely giving up hope on X Defiant, trust me. I want this game to succeed, I want this game to be good, I want it to feel good as well. But just judging off the amount of time that we've gone without playing this game, and all of the bullshit and all of the bad aspects of this game that have been holding it back, like I said, time is no longer on this game's side and you genuinely need to deliver. If we're at a point where these issues are still there, and God forbid there's another delay, I think after a video like this, I think by that point, I would be ready to say, I'm giving up on X Defiant. I'm not there yet, but people like myself, people that agree with what I'm saying, we're pretty close to it. You can't really afford to keep fucking up, you can't really afford to not have significant improvements and progress on your game, and you absolutely cannot afford to delay your game anymore. If this game isn't ready to go by like, October, Chalk the whole fucking thing, man. I'm sorry, but we're getting really close to the next Treyarch title, and I'm not saying as a gooch licker that like, oh my god, Treyarch's the savior of Call of Duty. I'm not saying that, but the hype for that game, I can already predict, it's gonna be immense. And there's no way X Defiant's gonna touch that if we're not anywhere near it by that point. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. If you're trying out the game right now, please let me know what your experience is so far. And also, do you think this game has lost hype? Whatever your thoughts are, just let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodles.